All right, we do want to bring you back to the breaking news that we've been following out of New Haven this morning. Crews are there on the scene of a fire at a home on West Street. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live at the scene right now uh, with the latest. What do we know so far, right. Carolina? If not, I'll be done. Good morning, Caitlin. Well, this fire happened here near the intersection of Columbus Avenue and West Street, and we know that firefighters were able to put this fire out within six minutes, but not before there were some injuries and some deaths. So here with me, I have Assistant Chief Marcano, and he's going to kind of break down for us these injuries and some of these deaths that happened here. Fire came in at 320. Firefighters did a great job. Upon arrival, they had heavy fire on the second floor with people reported trapped. Uh, firefighters immediately began extending their uh, lines to uh, uh, extinguish the fire, and firefighters from a different crew went up the rear to rescue trapped victims. We had a total of 16 people in the building. Two people were, were rescued, uh, confirmed uh, deceased at the hospital, two fatalities. One person jumped out of the second floor window from the third floor, walked down and jumped out. Uh, everybody else self-evacuated. Two people jumped off from porch to porch from the front of the building, and they're okay, did not go down to the hospital. Firefighters are here with our critical incident stress debriefing. We have the Red Cross, the State PD assisting us. It's gonna be a long day for us as far as the investigation. And you also mentioned that some firefighters were also hurt in this. Um, kind of tell us a little bit about that, and then also the difficulty that it was to make to get everybody out of this building. Most two and a half woods, which is what this is, have a rear stairwell to go to the third floor. Rear stairwell is very narrow. Firefighters can barely get up themselves. So the idea of bringing someone down and rescuing them that are not conscious, it's a, uh, a very difficult task. They did a great job doing that. One of them sustained a shoulder injury, hopefully a minor back injury, and some smoke inhalation. And they're all, they're all going down to the hospital or have been transported for evaluation. Okay. Well, we are going to continue to stay on this story and coming up in our next half hour, we'll have more details and then we'll also be able to give you a better idea of the extent of the damage that was sustained to this building. For now, reporting in New Haven, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.